Alrighty, it's been a little while since I had a review, but today I went to the dispensary. I haven't been to the dispensary in a while. I normally just order online. But today I ran out and I needed something, so I got some Samurai Spy Hybrid from Edison Cannabis. I bought this at Spirit Leaf on 10th Avenue, right across from Co-op in Calgary, if you're in Calgary. So I started heating it up before the video started because I don't have a website to show this on like I normally do because it's a, you know, bought it from the dispensary, but this is a hybrid. It says in brackets next to it, Ninja Fruit. I'm not sure what that's about. I don't know if you've ever seen, I've never seen that before. Sorry, my cat's running around. If you see the screen shaking or a tail, there you go. I don't know, it says ninja fruit right there, but I'm not really sure. Maybe it's another name for it. But it does have kind of a fruitiness to it. Bit of a citrusy aroma. Well, I mean the actual inhale, I mean. But Samurai Spy, I got an eighth of that, and let's see, THC total is 17.4% or a 0.34%, which I don't really get why they show both of those things, to be honest. CBC, CBD total is basically zero. This is like less than 0 0.07, so basically nothing. Yeah, so before it's it's got a pretty pungent aroma before you actually vape it up. It smells way different than it actually tastes when you vape it. She smells kind of gross. Like it's not like the really nicest smell ever. Oh, there's the bud. There's the biggest nug I got. Well, no, this one's bigger. This one's bigger, but it's got like stems on it and a bit of a bit of a leaf on it. It's not the best. You don't want to see that. Generally, you want to see that when you're buying weed. A little bit of a leaf and stem on there. Well, it's got got that regular piney smell to it, but it's got a bit of more pungent kick to it. It's around 6 o'clock now, and this is my first vape of the day, so it's always best to try to review something when it's the first vape. Here you go. Want some weed? There's a little moist pack. I wish it all... Some, sometimes they don't have the pack, sometimes they do. I'm like, they all should, because, you know, I'm going to start saving these for my own shit. I don't know, I didn't say if it was sativa or indica dominant. <coughs> but probably, I don't know, the, the nugs are pretty tight looking. I don't know. But then again, I always forget if the tighter nugs are indica or sativa or... I think sativa are the ones that are tighter and the leafy, branchier ones. Bushier ones are indica. Sorry if I'm wrong. Yeah, it's interesting how it doesn't taste like it smells at all. Maybe if you smoked it, but I don't know. You can't get the flavor as well when you smoke. If you want the real flavor, you gotta vape. I'd say this is sativa dominant because it's giving me a little bit of a kick. 
Nothing too crazy. I wasn't really planning on going anywhere after this, so I don't want to get too jacked up and then be home. Okay, it went out. That's five minutes, so. So this is, I got this a spare leaf. I don't know. I guess I could go to the spare leaf and put a link to it. But I don't actually know if you can buy stuff online through dispensaries, like the legal ones, like you can with the ones that are in that weird gray area. So, but I'll, I'll include a link anyways to, if I can find this train somewhere, or just for your information, your own edification. But yeah, I'm feeling a little buzzy, a little chatty, so, so you know. This would be a good one to go take before you go out. If you're about to go out in the town and with some friends, you can be a little chatty and stuff and have a bit of energy. This is a good one for that. So yeah, and it was on sale at the time. I believe it's a regular 30 something in the 30, 31, 33 range, and I got it for 28.95, I think. Only because it's on sale right now. But anyways, that's Samurai Spy, which I picked up off the Spirit Leaf on 10th Avenue in Calgary. Thanks for watching.